because uh, oh, but we won't see the ditto. Yeah, we, we will see the wolf. To be fair, um, well, a lot. Of, I think a lot of people say this is like a like an evenish matchup for Pabu. I kind of don't agree, but I know Wolf. I don't. I feel like Wolf does terrible versus Pabu, so he's probably just gonna opt to go Wolf. I, I guess I can see how it's even. Gut reaction has me say it's Pabu favor because like Pabu and Spacey's like make it yeah. But in the same vein, like Pally's tall enough and goes in the air enough that Wolf can use his great short hop speed, or the speed that he gets from a short hop, and cover a lot of Palutena's drift with just his own his own set of aerials, whether it be neutral air with forward air, and a lot of those combo into grab. So like, he can get momentum just as easily, if not more, than Palutena can. Oh, nice at all. He's already. He's kind of aware. Uh, I think it's kind of cool to see like people counterplay their character with another character. So I feel like um, I just putting on a real aggressive approach, trying to cover as much air options like with his forward air, because he kind of knows like that's what he has to do. Oh, nice! Almost hit him with the true combo. Oh, that's gonna be a punish. That was a really, that was a really uh, risky explosive flame and. Hydra just knew, he just knew how to punish that with the proper punish. Yeah, I, like a lot of players will can come in and like, oh, I have a free opportunity to grab here at 122. And Wolf doesn't get anything at that percent, so just oh. going with that up smash, getting that kill. He's nice. still alive and falling with the shine in order to avoid that was time. That was really good. The, the, the cool thing about that is people might think like, oh, that's just like some flashy, like just falling through stuff in the shine. But that's actually really smart because you get to keep a resource. Although you would otherwise have to air dodge and double jump. You see that? Now when you when you use your shine to go through explosive flame, you get to keep your air dodge your double jump, which is an important resource. Rather than and with shine, you can use it more than once. You know, you can like use it like four times in the sky or whatever the case may be. So it, that's really a, that's a really really smart thing, man. It's not something to just be flashy. I feel like that's something like. If you want to play this matchup right, that's what you have to do. Yeah. Plus, Shine is, is, I think, frame 6, so you're able to react to most explosive flames. Yeah. So, oh, ooh, nice back air. That was... Yeah, that's seven. Mm. yeah that, that's wild. Yeah, what was back air as wild? That thing is... If, like, you land, if you land the sweet spot, you're dead from center stage, even on Battlefield. Yeah, like, some people got their... Some people... Some people got their, uh... The stimulus checks in their account, some people got the wolf back in their account. They both hit just as hard, no funny. <laughs> <laughs> trying All to right, jump so, over this is the auto vertical, but still getting Yeah, crushed. that thing, I, I, that thing kind of hit him far. <laughs> like, it was like, nah, you're not jumping. And it like, literally hit him from like top of the platform. I, I want to know like, you know, the range of like, how far the homing, like from both angles, from all angles. Oh, nice spot dodge read. Yeah, I was, my son, he knows this character. Yeah, he definitely seemed, he was playing the matchup like the back of his hand. He's like, I don't want to play the ditto, so I'm hone my wolf to counter Palutena. Meanwhile, Spiro was, was looking more like he was, he had a Palutena that was prepared for a different style of wolf, one that was playing a lot more defensive while Hydra just decided, no, I'm going to put you on the back foot. I'm going to start catching your aerials. I'm going to start catching these jumps. And any defensive option you pick, I'm going to try and cover two more. Yeah, he he, he really turned it up that last stock, too. Like, the first stock, it was looking even. And then Hydra, once Hydra took that um, the first stock, it was like, he just, he just went on a tear. For sure. Wolf that can was... do that sometimes, though. Like his mo, his his forward propulsion in both, like physically and in game state, is so good because he can rack off yeah. so much damage. He can chase you across the stage for well, and thanks to the platforms of Battlefield, he can utilize his uh, he can utilize his auto his wide auto cancel windows even in going air to air, even when going air to air. Rather. So. I guess he, it's Wi-Fi, you can't it's have Wi-Fi wi without Ganon, so I feel like he's going to take his chances and 
he's gonna try and do this. This is, uh, I feel like this is the thing about how I feel about Ganon. I feel like Ganon excels on people who actually have to fight him. So like in those matchups, like Snake or like you know Richter, like I could imagine like, oh yeah, this is this is really bad. And then someone like Wolf who kind of has to like fight Ganon. This is still pretty a bad matchup for Ganon, but you run the risk of just like him getting that like one hit and you know killing you at like 50 or something yeah but like, theoretically it's at death percent now but yeah oh my god yeah oh nice <laughs> really yeah it, it, i don't know if it's just the power of ganon though but i feel like the problem with like when you play ganon is since they know they kill early a lot of them just like to go for the reads that's just like oh you know the, the what i call like the you know the hard reads that kill you or whatever the case may be and it's just like, I feel like if Ganon's played like like he was an actual character instead of trying to cheese with him, he can probably be a little bit more successful. <laughs> but I mean, oh, wow. No magnet hands on He him. couldn't wow. make it back from, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, this is not working out. Yeah. This is just like combo videos. Yeah, Spear is, uh, not Spear. Hydra's playing this matchup without fear, which is what- What you gotta is, do, yup. Yeah. yeah. Ganondorf can only really get all of his clips by players who are scared. And while he yep. does have some decent combos at low percent at a dash attack, as long as you don't, like, worry about what's coming- what's coming at you, and you are aware- you're calm in the face of adversity of this giant Nair that does 23, like then you can then you can play the match right, but Spira is starting to get get some of these soft reads and the uh, strong of up air is gonna Oh uh, I try to Oh nice. Fair to flash uh, but Ganon's heavy and Oh he, that he was a good like, Yeah, it, it it was clear, bro. I feel like Palatine. Yeah. But well I guess it was worth the try, why not? Is why I find yeah, it It's something. And you don't see Wolf go off stage as much as uh, other characters due to Wolf's, like, while his fall speed is incredible on stage, it pretty much means he only gets one aerial off stage before he has to expend both his double jump and his up beat to recover. Yeah. So it would theoretically make Ganondorf able to recover to ledge a, a lot easier and a lot more frequently, give him more time to give him more time to live and therefore more time to get out some of these uh, potential uh, kill you at 80 type of moves landing. Uh, but when you're a stock down, Wolf doesn't need to get back to ledge. He just needs to kill you. <laughs> yeah, he, he did go pretty deep, but I want, I'm I'm kind of curious to see if like he would have even made it back. Like I I feel like if that didn't kill him for whatever reason, he would oh, not even make it back. He would definitely he just... win, because he, he used his double jump to land the nair. Boy, so nice. Yeah. That that those that's what I like to see, man. It's just like yo, I know you're dead, and I know I have a stock lead. It's time to just erase this stock. So he's going back to Palu. Um, starting off a lot more aggressive this time. He, he's drawing first. Might be able to actually draw first blood. We'll see. Uh, a bit of a, a bit of a questionable explosive flame startup is what evens up the game rather quickly. And Spear has been on ledge for the. Ask like 15 seconds and took 65 from it. Finally, yeah, he, we set neutral. Yeah, it was a. Hydra, um, Hydra's doing a really good job of lead trapping Spiro. It's like. It's almost. It's almost if he's playing himself. Oh, what was that? Oh, he didn't get clipped for the final hitbox. Just like the. Just the, the one that sucked him in. But because only the tip of Wolf's head got sucked in, he fell out of the last hitbox and got sent at that terrible angle. <laughs> wow, that's rather unfortunate. Well, Spiro, Spiro looks like he's running with it. He's, he's going crazy right now. Already has him on 76. Nice explosive flame. Yeah, just going for these F tilts in order to try and catch Wedge and cover the neutral getup. Oh, he missed? He, I just <laughs> missed. Man, it, it doesn't look like this is a Hydra's game in terms of luck. He's just getting a little unlucky right now. Nice. No spot dodge. I, he was looking for the spot dodge, but Hydra wasn't giving it to him. I'm missing all of these two frames with F tilt. Yeah, it's, uh, it's falling out of control. I, I don't know. I'm not going to say he's probably busted by it, but I feel like he might be rushing a little too hard. He's doing a good job left trapping him, though. Uh, He's trying to rush back into center stage. That was so good. That wasn't gonna kill though. 
waiting out there again. Nair won't kill yet. Still waiting at 154. Finally taking center stage, but only giving it more, plenty of opportunity for Spear to come in with a dash attack. Yeah, it's stock when he needed it. I feel like that uh that unlucky stock was the, was like the deal. It was the deal. The game changer. I, I feel like after that, the game the game was settled. Like this is a, a Spiro's game. Unfortunately, it was a it was a whack way to die though. I'm not gonna hold you. It's also just like Wolf's game plan shifts so much uh, when he's faced with an opportunity of like now I need to hunt you down for this kill, especially when the character's so fast like how it is. Like Wolf's wall kill tools are good, but sometimes like, sometimes you don't get those early you don't get as those kills when you outside a setup range. Like you land a yeah. and, like the player already knows to assuming they already know to look out for things like down smash and Wow, okay, that fair, Ooh, that fair back air. Yeah, sure he's in the south block, but he needs to teleport in, but Kalos is what saves him. Yeah, okay, nice. Okay, he... Three reads in a row. Yeah, three, those are some, those are three impressive reads back to back. He really has his number, oh my god. Number four. Even... <laughs> yeah, all right, so I just turn it up now. It's, it's like, I feel like it's not even in terms of percent, but I think it's even in terms of mental mental capacity uh, yeah he could have he, he could have uh, gone for fair flash on that platform and you know he would have died but he could have also ended the ended the set right there yeah he could have yeah it, uh, um i just got so much momentum off that but that's gonna do it. oh it's not doing and talos is coming in clutch for both players yeah at this point the percent differential isn't isn't super big right now, but he rolls uh, into the he, down throw. So, yeah, Hydra keeps getting and getting neutral, getting up, and then rolling to center stage. And I, I, it wasn't. I feel like it wasn't punished enough. It was punished a few times, but but I guess it, the punish only matters. Like it matters at that point. He took the stock with it, so yeah. And Spear was even if he wasn't punishing it, he was already figuring out. He was figuring out the spacing for it at the very least. Since yeah. even when Hydra would get to ledge, Spear would stay holding center stage. And in a position like that where a lead is starting to slip from your fingers, keeping center stage and keeping calm, letting your letting your buttons do the work and not trying to get too aggressive and too let it slip further out of hand is a pretty good way to keep a keep a lid on uh, keep a lid on a game. Yeah. Three, two, we all right, so Battlefield, this is, this is where game one was played, and I feel like, uh, I feel like this is a good stage for both characters, to be honest. I would probably even give it slightly to Talus, but Wolf Hydra's actually when I counter pick this, so I guess he just, you know, he, really, he did well on it the first game, so like, why not? And, and sometimes it doesn't even matter if your character does well on it, sometimes it just matters if you're comfortable on the stage, and sometimes that matters more than anything. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty decent wolf stage, largely because you can get much more utility out of up air on stage on a stage like this than uh, many other stages. Uh, same yeah. thing with same idea with Palutena. She can start taking her combos vertically, which would let her kill more for, uh, more early. But in the case of wolf, it lets you start racking up damage in a different way as reading reading the you know, reacting at least. Uh, Attack. Yeah, either whether it's read or reaction, Hydra, he's getting those big hits. But I feel like that's what Spear is lacking out of the two. Like Spear is not getting like those big, big hits, and you know with uh with his you know with his with his reads, you know like he who make like slight reads, like air dodge reads, get a neutral air. But when Hydra makes a read, he's just like yo, no this forward smash, homie, or this up like these big attacks. And I feel like you know that that kind of hurts the Spiro's momentum and it also just you know makes it so that he can make those comebacks a lot easier than Spiro can for sure I'm, i completely agree because wolf it can wolf it has a similar problem to what palatine has where like once they hit like 100 or 110 like stuff that is you know stuff is true that works for wolf suddenly stops being true and what's 
what Hydra is supplementing is these hard, hard punishes. Yeah. You just completely avoid the odd window where, oh, my opponent was too high to do anything. I just have to play neutral until I can kill them. Instead, you're like, well, I'll just kill you at 100 anyway, and then yeah. skill still make you in my threat range. Earlier on in that right side of the ledge, uh, that was a beautiful frame shot with the back air. So he like threw the back air for the air dodge and landed with the forward smash, and then immediately just got another forward smash right after that to punish the explosive flame. He's doing. I mean, like the thing is, what what smash attacks are so like? They have like almost no cooldowns. Like why not just throw them out? I mean, like you know, like you're not gonna. It's, it's almost as if it's very hard to punish. And then his wife on top of that, like you know. You might yeah. as well just throw them things out if you feel like you can make a read or two. Oh, finally it. landing a big hit of his own, but it just doesn't seem to kill. Oh, that was a that was a pretty, you know, stylish was then going off the stage trying to get him. It was like kind of unexpected, but he touched both shield and up smash out of shield is going to be the one to take the second stock. This is a lot better than the the first game, but I feel like I just just his momentum, he just, is, I feel like he never lost, even when he lost the game, like the last game, he never really lost his momentum, he kind of just got an unfortunate stock and then that was it. Like, he still had it though, like he lost it briefly, but he just always seems to have the upper hand in the momentum throughout the whole set. Yeah, every time Hydra seems to be put on the back foot, he's much more, he's completely willing to jump away and shoot laser, but when he needs to come in and punish a neutral getup that he knows is coming, oh, he's ready for it. <laughs> yeah, and just like that, I just took that. that was some really, you know, Wi-Fi aside, that was some pretty cool Wolf gameplay. That was that was actually pretty sick. entertaining. Yeah, Wolf could be, Wolf is pretty cool sometimes. Well, most of the times, I feel like he's a he's a character. I feel like that, you know, it's just like you can play offensively and defensively with him. And I feel like people don't, I feel like they don't take advantage of 